Welcome to Morning Prayer and Worship. I'm so glad that you're here today, this Friday of Ordinary Time, proper 10 in the church calendar. We'd love to pray for you, benwardmusic.com slash prayer request. Thank you for your support. Would you consider becoming a monthly supporter? Help us produce morning prayer and worship five days a week, helping people experience the nearness of God. Benwardmusic.com slash donate. I'm the apple of your eye, you love me. I bring your heart to light, I'm lovely. And when I feel ashamed, full of doubt and blame, I remember you don't change. You love me. I tend to feel unwanted, I tend to hurt sometimes Overwhelmed by darkened clouds, with tarnish on the silver lining But I'm the apple of your eye, you love me Bring your heart to light, I'm lovely. And when I feel ashamed, full of doubt and blame, I remember you don't change. You love me. like to play the victim and hide behind the pain Slight manipulation Smiling on my face But I'm the apple of your eye You love me I bring your heart to light I'm lovely When I feel the shame Full of doubt and blame I remember you don't change You love me Most merciful God We confess that we have sinned against you In thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Kicking, screaming, frozen, unbending You look beyond my tantrums Meet my questions with one answer I'm the apple of your eye You love me And I bring your heart to light Lovely when I feel ashamed, full of doubt and blame, I remember you don't change. You love me. Psalm 31 In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. 
Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. I hate those who cling to worthless idols, and I put my trust in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy, for you have seen my affliction. You know my distress. You have not shut me up in the power of the enemy. You have set my feet in an open place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with sorrow, and also my throat and my belly. For my life is wasted with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength fails me because of affliction, and my bones are consumed. I have become a reproach to all my enemies and even to my neighbors, a dismay to those of my acquaintance. When they see me in the street, they avoid me. I am forgotten like a dead man, out of mind. I am as useless as a broken pot. For I have heard the whispering of the crowd. Fear is all around. They put their heads together against me. They plot to take my life. But as for me, I have trusted in you, O Lord. I have said you are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant and in your loving kindness save me. Lord, let me not be ashamed for having called upon you. Rather, let the wicked be put to shame. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be silenced which speak against the righteous haughtily, disdainfully, and with contempt. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have done in the sight of all for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the covert of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them in your shelter from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me the wonders of his love in a besieged city. Yet I said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the sound of my entreaty when I cried out to you. Love the Lord, all you who worship him. The Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full those who act haughtily. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Be strong, let your heart take courage. Be strong, let your heart take courage. All you who wait, all you who wait for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Our gospel reading is Matthew 26, 17 through 25. On the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus saying, Where do you want us to make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, The teacher says, My time is near. 
I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, he took his place with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. And they became greatly distressed and began to say to him one after another, Surely not I, Lord. He answered, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him, but woe to that one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that one not to have been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Surely not I, Rabbi. And he replied, You have said so. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. And I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Friday of Ordinary Time, proper 10 in the church calendar, and our collect of the day, the prayer we pray together collectively. O Lord, mercifully receive the prayers of your people who call upon you, and grant that they may know and understand what things they ought to do, and also may have grace and power faithfully to accomplish them. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let's have a time of free prayer where you can pray specifically in by name for those in your life this time, however you feel, whatever is on your heart.
Lord, I just pray that all those who need rest, who are searching for rest today, that they would find it. You say, come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Oh, Lord Jesus, give us rest. May we truly know what it means to Sabbath, to rest in your arms, and be refreshed and renewed. Thank you, Lord. May your rest come. Help us move and go because we have rested in your presence. Amen and amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen and amen. Go in the peace and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Come into his rest. wonderful weekend. BenWardMusic.com slash donate if you'd like to help us keep morning prayer going five days a week. Experiencing the nearness of God. Amen.